What's up guys, so in this video we're going to be looking at a very cool new interesting feature that just came to Chrome. Yeah, and this is going to be very very important for front-end developers to quickly um, get time to value on their development. So um, we can now mock API responses directly in Chrome. Yeah, you can now mock API responses directly in Chrome. Something that you might need uh, maybe like a postman to do and stuff. This is one of the new features that came with Chrome. So I have this to-do list um, application. If we look at the code, um, just a bunch of HTML and JavaScript. Now it calls the JSON placeholder API. It calls the JSON placeholder API, but it calls a particular cars endpoint. And I know that does not exist. JSON placeholder does not have a cars endpoint. But I just did that so that we can get a 404. Yeah, so that we can get a 404. Like the route doesn't exist. So imagine like your backend developers are developing and they don't have the route ready for you, but you want to do the work. You want to go ahead as a front end developer to continue building the application. So uh, if we go back to uh, Chrome, if we go back to Chrome and uh, I open DevTools, I open DevTools, uh, let's, okay, let's have it here. Let's have it by the side here. So if I open DevTools and I click this load list. It's going to try and fetch it, then I'm going to get a 404. Yeah, it's going to try and fetch it, then I'm going to get a 404. Like I said, this is the type of thing that can happen if the backend developers are still working on that endpoint. So let's say as a front-end developer, I just want to keep developing. So I want like a, I want, just give me something, give me a, a sample response. So I can come to Chrome here in the network tab. I will come to this request. I'll right click it, then scroll down, scroll down till I get to this override content section. You see, we even have override headers. I will do a video on that later. So override content. So we'll click on override content. So the first thing it does is that it tells us to select a folder. So you have to select a folder where you want to have those mock data files in. So I'm just going to say, yeah, select a folder. Then it's going to come here and tell me to uh, create a folder. So I'm just going to go into code demos and say, yeah, um, let's say mock data. I'm just going to call it mock data. Uh, let me put, yeah, that was mock data. Yeah, mock data. So I'm going to click create, create so that uh, now I then click select so that it selects that folder. Select that folder, but it then tells me do I want to grant full access to that folder? Do I want to grant full access to that folder and make sure that you do not expose any sensitive information? I know I'm just going to be keeping dummy stuff there. So I'm going to say allow. You have to do this to make sure that uh, your folder is recognized. So more permission stuff here. Google Chrome would like to access file. Yeah, sure. Okay. So that's good. Once it does that, you can now see in the sources panel, it opens up the sources panel. And here you can see your mock data uh, folder. And uh, it creates one for the JSON placeholder type of code API that we called. That is that particular service URL uh, for the cars endpoint. So for that cars endpoint, I want to return uh, an array. I'm hoping to get an array of objects and it's just, a, an, it's just, a, it's just an object of to-do items. Just an object of to-do items. So you can just write in any objects you want here. You can uh, create your array and you can start typing in your objects. So ID, um, now this has to be JSON. This has to be JSON. This has to be in quotes. Yeah, so this has to be in quotes. So you follow the JSON syntax and you say, let's say, uh, plan video. So you can type in there. And um, now if we have this, if we are, uh, I think it's expecting a title. Yeah, it's expecting a title, uh, an ID field. Let's just give it an ID of one. Let's give it an ID of one. So this is the structure that my application is expecting. And it's expecting an array to contain this collection of to-do items. So with this in place, uh, you see this uh, asterisk here, it means that it's not saved. So you want to save the file using uh, Control S or Command S on Mac. So once you have that saved, once you've saved that, and you click load list, we then get planned video. Yeah, we then get planned video. Successfully mocked uh, your response. Now I want more to-do items here. So what I'm going to do is that I have a um, JSON file here in my uh, application root. So I'm just going to open that. It's called mock data. And I'm just going to copy the array here. I think it has up to uh, five items. Yeah, five items. So I'm going to copy that. We go to Chrome. We go to Chrome. So I can just take this out and paste. Now it tells me, um, it asks for more permissions. Should it allow pasting? So I'll say, yeah, allow pasting. Now, this is also another place where you have to make sure that you're not pasting sensitive information like passwords and uh, some secret keys and stuff. So 
be careful so you click allow paste in you say allow and now i can paste my data in here yeah i can paste my data in here so you know that you have to make sure that it's saved it will show you this asterisk so press Control or command s to save that and once it's saved now if i click this load list i get more items yeah i get more items this is my task list to record this video i research the video i plan the video i record the video which is what i'm doing now and i edit the video then i'll publish it that's why you can see it right now yeah so that's how to mock data in chrome uh like i said um i'm hitting a 404 endpoint we'll go to my next network tab i'm hitting a 404 endpoint so uh, if i want to mock the data all i have to do is uh right click on it and scroll down click override content and it will um do all the permission stuff that we saw earlier you pick a folder and stuff and then it creates um a file for the endpoint and then you can put your data in that file now if you're done with all this if you don't want um all this mock data because it starts warning you that yeah um some of this uh requests may be overridden locally so it starts warning you so if you don't want to see that error again you can go back to your sources panel if you are done with the whole json uh type code um endpoint or whatever endpoint you're calling if you're done with all the mock data there you can simply just um delete it yeah you can delete it and once you have it deleted it will ask you are you sure you want to delete this you say okay and the error clears and everything returns back to actual um request so if we click now now we don't get anything because if we check here we're back to our actual 404 http status code so that is another quick chrome tutorial for you now you can mock api responses using chrome dev tools